OPM really started as a material science company working in this one very interesting polymer called PEKK. It's a really unique material and it's highly suitable for orthopedic implants. So a lot of what we do today is built around supplying uh, orthopedic implants and materials for those types of biomedical uses. This design itself matches the entire, the entire defect. We receive an implant design, we produce it, and we never know who the patient is. But actually one of the things that we think of is we think of their families and what that means. In 2014, I became aware really what was happening in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky paid a visit to a military hospital in the Lviv region. And then the most recent invasion things really amped up. It got much more intense. We could see what Putin was doing and I always felt, look, that's an existential threat to the West and democracy and freedom. And, you know, it just kept growing inside me. It's like, I just have to do something. We need to import a lot of things from abroad. That is what we can do. We start looking for medical products. We got the message yeah, from Scott. Yeah, do you need my help? That was the first person who provided the product of his company, medical products, for free. If you are in this environment of war, it is even more important to feel the support and to feel that you are not alone. Senator Murphy. How are you? Scott DeFleece. Good to see you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm glad you can make it. Thanks for having me. We're very proud of what's happening here in Connecticut and all the partnerships that we've been able to create with those that are defending Ukraine. I want to make sure that I can support this really unique partnership in Ukraine where they're providing medical expertise and medical equipment to make sure that we can repair just this cascade of broken bodies that result from this war. 80 patients per week, sometimes uh, double, sometimes double. Civilians and soldiers. And civilians, for sure, because you know, we have like terroristic situation in Ukraine. Right. And you never know where it will happen next. I remember very, very well the first day of the war, because I stayed home with my two children and my wife was on the, on the road uh, to the medical conference uh, in Kyiv. I just remember the faces of my kids when we heard the first air alarm signal. This collaboration with the private sector to make sure that you have the technology and the implants necessary to do the work is so, so important. And as the fight unfortunately doesn't occupy our front pages any longer. We're going to all have to do our work to explain to our neighbors and to our friends why Ukraine still matters. And when the private sector steps up like this, it sort of communicates to people that this is still important. We have one soldier who was a very young boy and he said, please save, save my limb. And the heroes, the doctors saved the limb. He can run, he can walk, he is now a normal person. And that is inspired. I think people should look inside themselves and think about human well-being and this particular struggle and uh, find their way, find their way they can do something.